Hi, this is Derry Zengade. Now I'm going to spend a little bit of time quickly showing you how to add new drives to a new pool or to an existing pool. Uh, so if you go into a storage pool, uh, you could see it here and say, for instance, you purchase new drives and you plug them in. So I have an existing pool and say it's using these first three shelves, which mine is using a few drives from each of those shelves. All you have to do is plug those in. You can hot plug those in. You don't have to bring anything down as data is going. Uh, you click the Add button. You select the pool you want to add drives to and select the Add button. And what this will do is go out and scan all the drives and see what drives are available and have not been added to a pool. And it's going to show us that list. So here's the list. As you can see, it's actually showing me all six shelves. And the reason why is these first few shelves, only 10 of the 20 drives have been used, so there's still 10 available, so I could use those. Uh, or I could pick these other shelves that have not been used uh, in this case. And so, uh, as you can see, the first three each have half gone. I'm going to go ahead and pick 10 from the other three shelves, uh, just because usually I would you know, use half the shelves for one pool on one controller, and the other half for half on the other controller. I could also add uh, extra write SSDs to this if I want to because those are available. I also have a cache device or I could not. In this case I'm not going to. I'm just going to add 30 new drives and give myself a bunch more space. So I select those, 10, those 30 drives I want to add and I hit commit. That'll add the drives. Whatever the RAID size is of the existing pools, it's automatically going to assume that same same, same RAID type. Uh, something nice about the ZFS is because of the way it's configured, so it's telling you, hey, this is already a mirrored, no single point of failure pool, and it's going to be the same exact thing. So we'll go ahead and hit commit. So it's also showing you, I'm adding 28 new drives. It's going to take two hot spares out of these new 28 drives as well and add those into the pool. And show you how much extra space I'm going to get with the pool. So basically I had roughly a 50 terabyte pool before. I'm going to end up now with roughly a 100 terabyte pool. Just about complete here. Yes, it is. So again, like I mentioned, here's a 98.4 terabyte pool. It was roughly about 50 terabytes before. Uh, so now I've doubled the size. What's nice about ZFS is everything is basically thin provisioned. So uh, when you create a share, by default, it sees all the pool available. So uh, unless you give it a quota, which would basically not let them see the whole pool. But anybody that had this file system FS1 mounted, uh, they would see instantly, wow, we got a whole bunch more space available. They wouldn't have to do anything to carve out new space for these pools, and that would be for all the file systems on the box, all the thin provision LUNs, all that space would immediately, that are in that pool, would immediately be available to use that space. Uh, something else of interest you may want to know, does ZFS do any load balancing uh, or anything like that in the background when you add new drives? It does sort of. So what happens is all new writes that come in, uh, ZFS will try and load balance those and send those to the new devices to balance out uh, how much of the space is used by all the drives to get them all at an even state. It doesn't restripe or anything like that. And it typically doesn't have to, to be honest, because all of our writes are buffered by the right SSDs in the hybrid storage pool. And so it works extremely well, very easy to add. You can add multiple size drives in the same pool, and you will get all the space. As long as you had the same size drive at the same time, like if you had a mix, in my case, I have all four terabyte drives. If I had a mix of three and four terabytes, I wouldn't want to mix adding a three terabyte drive and a four terabyte drive, because then it's going to downsize to the smallest. But if I say added all my three terabyte drives first, and then added all my four terabyte drives, I would maximize using all that space even though they're in the same pool. Uh, so that is adding new drives to an existing pool. Thank you very much.